grizzly. Adult males stand up to three meters tall and can use their muscle power to take down prey as big as bison. There are only 5,000 giant otters left in the world. Most of them are here. This is a real treat. Nearly two meters from head to tail, they are voracious hunters. Waterways team with over 300 different species of fish. Giant otters keep their numbers in check and allow the nutrient rich rivers to sustain a huge diversity of life. Sperm whales spend 85% of their lives hunting deep in the ocean. Their muscles have adapted to contain an oxygen-storing protein called myoglobin. So the bigger they grow, the more oxygen they can carry, which gives them more time to hunt for food. That is why size is key to the sperm whale's success. Wow. That is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. The Southern Elephant Seal. Females return to land to give birth and nurse their young. In just three weeks, they'll have them weaned and be ready to breed again with the dominant male. The largest and heaviest lizard in the world. These carnivorous reptiles are a type of varanid or monitor lizard. But those on Komodo Island are giants. Nearly five times bigger than other monitor lizards. To show why they've become supersized, I want to get close to one of these big beasts. The orangutan. The biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. Mm -hmm. 
males can weigh almost 100 kilograms and have an arm span of two meters. Up to 95% of their lives are spent in the canopy. But they're surprisingly clumsy climbers. It looks to me like this is an animal too big for its treetop home. The Amur Tiger. The biggest cat on Earth. There are less than 600 of these giant felines left in the wild. Weighing up to 250 kilograms, they've been known to kill and even eat grizzly bears. The Amur tiger is twice the size of its tropical cousin the Malayan tiger. And that comes down to its cold environment. The mountain gorilla. Gorillas are the largest of the great apes. Silverbacks weigh up to 200 kilograms. Their colossal size allows them to defend their family. Standing six meters from hoof to head and weighing over a ton, this is the Angolan giraffe. These are the only giraffe that live in the desert. To survive, they need to eat several hundred kilos of leaves every week. So what's a mega herbivore doing in such a lifeless landscape? I'm heading deep into the interior to meet up with a team of conservationists studying these giraffes. size that helps them to hunt in these surprisingly cold waters. The great white shark can survive in waters as cold as three and a half degrees Celsius. That's pretty much near freezing point. And it can do that through something called thermal inertia. Its actual size, the bulk mass of the shark, means that it can conserve lots of heat energy, whereas smaller animals find it difficult to maintain their temperature. As well as thermal inertia, white sharks are also able to generate their own body heat. It's this winning combination of size and body temperature that allows them to keep their muscles warm and explode into action. There are nearly 500 different species of shark. Great whites 
are the biggest to actively hunt down their prey. 